But here we are. We're placing a gas valve on a Bradford white water heater. So we're in the middle of draining it now. It's like watching the grass grow. So we got everything disconnected here. Pilot line, pilot generator. Burner. You had to take that out. You don't want to get water in here. So they, just in case there's some water that comes out, you don't want to get water in the burner tube. So I'm just waiting for this thing to drain out here. It's like a slow boat to China. Watching the grass grow. Oh, she might be drained. In here for like 20 minutes, but it might be plugged up too. So, such a few in the weather. Got you set up on the boiler here. So. Here's the bag it comes in. So what I do is I keep it in the bag. It's an electronic valve, so I'll pump the hole through the bag. Just to get it to where. So in case I got any excess water, I might get the valve wet. So I always leave that in there because you can't get channel locks behind it. And it helps you move the valve. Just take this off. Very nice and 
the holes out there. Getting a lot of flack for tape. Gas. Where are you at? Gas and water. Tape. Don't like. Don't like. Pipe oh, Too messy. For service. Adjusted here. Oh man. Burner in the slots. There we go, and I'm getting water all over the floor. You damn get, you damn, you guys. 
guys are in the way. Let. This stuff works great. I use this on boilers, everything all the time. Gas, water, you name it. And I got status light. Light this up. And off we go. Alright, that's uh just replacing the bread for white hot water here. I'm gonna do a gas leak check here. I don't smell anything, but I'll check it out anyways. Oh, I gotta get that wire in there. See you on the next one.